The Prime Test 250 is a comprehensive portable appliance tester capable of performing all of the tests required by the IAE Code of Practice. First of all, we're going to demonstrate how to test a Class 1 appliance using battery power. To perform the Class 1 appliance test, first of all, we connect the appliance to the test socket on the front. We connect up the earth continuity test lead to the socket on the end and connect up the test clip onto the exposed metal. We switch on the tester. And before we start, we're going to select the insulation test voltage and the leakage limit for this appliance. So we press the setup key. We've selected 500 volt insulation test and a 0.75 milliamp leakage limit. So the test is now ready to go. Make sure the appliance is switched on and push the class one button. First of all, the tester is performing the earth continuity test. Now the insulation test at 500 volts. And now it's going to measure leak each current using the internal voltage supply because we have no incoming mains. The sequence is now finished and it's showing the overall result as a pass. Now that we've finished the electrical safety tests, we label up the appliance showing that it's electrically safe and we can make a note of the results here in our logbook. Now we're going to test a class 2 appliance. This time we're going to do a power leakage test rather than the substitute leakage using the internal power supply. So we need a main supply to do that. We connect the mains power into the top of the tester. We connect the plug from the appliance into the test socket in the front. We need to use our test clip so we plug it into the socket on the top of the tester. Connect the clip onto the exposed metal parts here on this class 2 appliance and we're ready to go. Now <clears throat> before we start the sequence we need to remember that it is going to power the appliance because we've got mains coming in so we need to make sure it's safe to do so. So you'll note there's no blade in the saw. Switch the appliance on, push the test key, first off it measures the insulation and now it's going to power the appliance. It's ready to do so, so it's flashing the leakage key. I press this button to confirm it's safe to proceed. <laughs> Pressing the button a second time terminates the test and the sequence is now complete. All that remains now is to label up the appliance with an appropriate label and make a note of our test results in the logbook. We're now going to use the tester to test this surge protected multi-way adapter. Now because it's surge protected we're going to change the insulation test voltage from 500 volts to 250 volts. That's easily done by pressing the setup key, pushing the class 2 key, changing the voltage from 500 volts to 250 volts. Press the setup key to go back to the test mode. So before we begin we plug the adapter into here. We use the short test lead supplied with the instrument, plugging one end into the outlet and the other into the socket on the top. So we're connected up and ready to go. We use the class 1 key. The tester automatically detects the fact that it's a cord tested and is performing the cord test for us. So it's measuring earth continuity, insulation at 250 volts and finally it's measuring the cord polarity which it says is good. Overall result is a pass so it's a pass for the sequence. All that remains now is to fix an appropriate label to show the appliance is tested and safe 
and to make a note of the results in our PAT testing logbook. Now we're going to test this plug-in RCD. We can use the test instrument to measure the trip time or the trip speed of the RCD. To do the test, the RCD needs to be connected to a mains outlet. If, however, we were to connect the RCD directly to a main supply, there is a risk that we will trip the RCD in the main supply into the building. That problem can be overcome by using this Seaward non-trip adapter or non-trip box to give us an isolated supply. So the non-trip adapter is plugged into the main supply. The portable RCD is then connected into this test supply and the test instrument plugged into the RCD. We then reset the RCD so it's ready to be tested and we press the RCD test button here and the RCD trips. We can make a note then of the operating time in our PAT testing logbook and label up the RCD as tested. The Prime Test 250 can also be used to test three-phase equipment using the Seawood three-phase test adapter.